Welcome back, everybody. Well, no one is ever prepared to be told that they have cancer, but if that moment does come, know that you are not alone. Trent Justnetzinger, founder of Hearts, Hands, and Hope Foundation, along with her husband, Paul, are joining us this morning. Guys, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Of course, it's an important topic. <coughs> it really is. So I want to start, you know, you, you guys, first of all, have an incredibly beautiful story behind this foundation. I heard it yesterday, and it just made us all tear up. Oh, Tell us about you. that story. Yes, ma'am. So um, in 2016, uh, my mom and I were both diagnosed with breast cancer, <clears throat> excuse me, within four days of each other. Oh. And no, no, we didn't have any lumps or anything. It was just a, a wild coincidence. Yeah. And um, we made the decision then and there that we could either, you know, let it beat us or we were going to beat the cancer. And we're both in remission now. And this is how Hearts, Hands, and Hope was formed. Wow, incredible. And I, I have to have you continue because the way that you guys met, too, is, is pretty amazing as well. Yeah, <laughs> so we had just started dating a couple of months before. Yeah. And when I had got my diagnosis, um, I tried giving him the free pass. I was like, you didn't sign up for this. And he, he truly <laughs> told me to shut up and get in the car. And he took me to the courthouse and married me and said he wasn't going anywhere. So, um, so I was very blessed. I had a, a very strong support system <laughs> <laughs> between him, my family, my kids, and, and everything. Um, but even though you can have a strong support system, mm -hmm you still have the ability to feel alone. Sure. Because a lot of people don't understand the mental and emotional toll that takes. Absolutely. Well, Paul, huge kudos because that is that is so Thank sweet. You. And again, that support is is huge, but I can I can understand that too, Trenda, just being there and thinking that this is something that really nobody understands unless they're going through it can be hard. So exactly. what kind of resources um, can people find th that the p foundation provides? Absolutely, so we encourage people to go to our website okay. and they can um, fill out an application on there. We provide financial assistance, meals, transportation to and from appointments resources, anything that, that people may need, um, we try and provide. Amazing, so <laughs> holiday season is of course coming up really fast. Yes, um, why is this an important time to fundraise for you guys? Um, we, we have one major fundraiser a year, so that, that kind of gets us through the entire year. And with holidays coming up, you know, people tend to um, kind of dive into a, a dark spot because sure. you know they can barely pay their bills, um, because they're paying for chemo th treatments or whatnot. So we just provide a little bit of extra cushion so that life seems a little bit more normal yes. for them. So they can have that Christmas dinner with their family at the table and, and not worry about how they're going to pay for it or, or whatnot. So we try and just provide a little bit of comfort to the families. Right. Incredible. Um, I mean, Paul, for you, is this how, how has this worked for you in terms of the support and the help that you've been giving as well? It's... It's tough. Yeah. There's, there's, there's things, like when you see the kids yeah. and, and, and it tugs at your heart, you know, and when you give them a little bit of, of away from the hospital or, or something to take their mind off of the 45th jab that they get because they got infusions or they got this or they got this going on, it, just give a little bit of that, like, away time, you know, to, to that mental clarity right. for them so they can just, it, and it, it's just heart feeling. Yeah, I, I can only imagine the the joy that you see from, especially the kids that are yeah. being able to right. break from that just constant talk of cancer and you know what have you. So exactly. that is so huge. So tell us too about the Harlem Wizards event coming up, um, a little bit more about it. There's a QR code too that we want to tell our viewers about. Yes, yes, and we're super excited for this. On October 21st, the Harlem Wizards are coming out to Bennett. Okay. Um, it's going to be at the high school gym there. And we're, they're going to be playing alumni and staff and teachers and everything from all of the schools along the I-70 corridor. Wow. Um, it's just a fun way to involve the community, um, kind of show a different side of cancer that, you know, it doesn't always have to be so depressing. You know, if, you're, if you have a strong support system, you can still do do fun things yes. and, and everything. So the with them coming, it's just going to be a, a great evening of fun basketball antics, yeah. and we're going to have a silent auction and, and all that. So it's going to be a great evening. Amazing. Well, in the last 30 seconds, how does somebody become a beneficiary as well? Yeah, so they just need to go to our website, which is heartshandsandhopefoundation.org, and click on the thing for an application, and we immediately get that, and um, 
we, we try and help as many as people as we can. Yes, easy enough. Yeah. Well, guys, really quickly as well, I just want to ask, you know, for those out there who are going through it or have family members who are, any advice, anything that you want to say? Um, let, let them go through all of their emotions. Mm -hmm. It's okay to one minute be angry, the next minute cry, the next minute laughing. Sure. That's perfectly normal. Um, in fact, we encourage it. We want everybody to, you know, to live it because it, it gets harder if you don't. Sure. So um, for anybody who's supporting somebody going through cancer, just have a little patience with them and a little understanding that all of those roller coaster of emotions are perfectly fine. Normal. <laughs> and normal. And normal. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you both so thank much you. for the work you do. Thank and you very much. Congratulations thank you. on being in remission. It's huge. Thank you. Of course. All right, everybody. We want to put up that QR code once again to the Harlem Wizards event. Let's help support the fight against cancer. Thank you so much, Trenda, for thank coming you. in this morning. And thank you both so much for being thank you. here.